Hey, what's going on guys, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Pin Please. This is a really nice plugin that does a good job on the security of doors, trap doors, chests, gates, and ender chests. So it's really, really awesome. And with this plugin, you can create a pin from a GUI that opens up. So you can set a pin on any of these items, and then once it's set, if a player right clicks on it, they have to know the pin to be able to unlock it or open it. So it's really, really cool. So just make sure you download this plugin, drop in your plugins folder, and then restart your server. And then after that, just head on to your Minecraft server. And then one really cool feature is that your players have to place these down themselves for them to be able to create the pin. So they can't really steal anyone else's doors. So I really like that feature. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm going to use this wooden door. So if we type slash PP create, then we can go ahead and create a series of numbers that we can type in the pin pad. So the pin pad numbers can range anywhere from one to 54. So there's going to be nine little squares for each number. But if you want to use like 10 or something, then that's going to increase the pin pad to a larger number, which is 20. So there's going to be 20 little squares because that makes up a square. But it all depends on what you type in for the combination. So if you don't use something like 20, then it's not going to be that large. If you use something through 1 through 9, then it's only going to be a size of 9. That's just to help you guys understand. But anyways, let's go ahead and create our combination. I'm going to go with 2 and then make sure you separate the numbers with a comma three comma and then I'm gonna go with six so two three six and make sure the last number does not have a comma and just hit enter so there we go now it says staff override because there was already pin on it now if we right click on it then we can go ahead and type that in so I think it was two three six bam it was right so unfortunately I didn't make it through on time and you can set how long the doors stay open in the config and right now it's not really that long and there we go so obviously I made it through that time so pretty cool and uh, yeah so let's head into the config real quick alright so in the config we have the prefix of the messages and you guys can change all that stuff but here it is the time to keep the doors open so there are 20 ticks in one second so 10 ticks is half of a second so if you do the math correctly then you can set this up however you want I'm gonna go with two seconds so that's 40 ticks and yeah so that's pretty much it here's a master code for you guys that you guys can set up in case there's a locked block so that's pretty cool and here are the permissions right here for you guys so the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is how to remove the pin so if you just look at the block and type slash PP remove it's gone. There we go. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this plugin tutorial. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and uh, notice that guy right there. He is the plugin developer of this plugin. Make sure to check out his plugins, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.